has an overabundance of something, something else, maybe Brussels sprouts or or, on, or onions, otherwise known as onions. Yeah, and that, that's how people Lit. got along. And then they sold. They had, what did they have, roadside stands or something? Whatever. Yeah. Or they took them to market. We're talking about... Marqueta. Market. We're Big marketes. We're talking about family-owned farms, not corporate-owned farms. Oh, those we got to give subsidies and grants to, but the, the family-owned farm. Mm -hmm. Oh, they don't get the. They're mooches. Oh, they don't get the subsidies no, and grants. No, they don't. What do you think that fight over the food stamps was all about with the farm bill? Only the fat cat farms get the subsidies. That's correct. Subsidies and the middlemen. See, it's okay. The wholesalers for these Republican darlings in Congress. It's okay to give welfare to the rich. Not okay. It's the thing to do. It's the thing to do. But heaven forbid you're not rich, and you want a little subsidy for yourself and your family. Then you should pull yourself up by the boat steps. Then they get all upset. And earn it. Oh yeah, yeah, earn it. How? Get an organ grind, organ grinder, and a monkey with a tin cup, and 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 and, and crank the organ grinder box. Well, in the old days. Where? Where are the jobs? Before SSI, you were on a street corner selling pencils. Arms, arms. Arms for the poor. Arms for the arms poor. Arms for the poor. I seen that in uh, some Sinbad, uh, not Sinbad, uh, Aladdin, or one of those, uh, I don't know, some movie with Donald O'Connor, <laughs> and he was in Baghdad, and of course Donald O'Connor looked nothing like an, an Iraqi. <laughs> and there was a guy, you know, begging on the streets with a long beard and, a, and he's saying alms for the poor or alms for the blind or he's begging, he's begging, begging, he's a beggar. Yeah. Or today they would call them panhandlers. Yeah. To make it sound fancy. And they would want, the Republicans would want, if they gave him a quarter, they would want to know how he's going to spend it. Oh yeah. oh, oh yeah. That's how stingy they are. They well, are. they never understood the when you give a gift, that's the end for you. You have no more control over that gift. Well, Republicans usually give for a reason. Oh. Not, not, not. It doesn't come from the goodness of their heart. Oh. Like if they need a tax write-off, or they, you know. Yeah. Or they're trying to curry favor with you because you have something that they want. You know, John Stewart said something a little. He'll be back. He said something clever. John Stewart says that an entitlement is only an entitlement if you have something someone else wants. <laughs> it becomes an entitlement. It's incredible. <sighs> That people will continue to support a party that is working to cut the very programs they desperately need. The amount of people receiving food stamps doubled in 254 counties in America from 2007 to 2011. Hmm. Yet 213 of those counties supported Republican Mitt Romney. Uh huh. I like this article. One county with 52% of its population receiving food stamps cast 81% of its votes for Romney. The same goes with gun control. The states with the most lax gun laws also have the highest percentage of gun violence. Most of the states are red states. It, is it not in the states and voters' best interest to reduce gun violence? I would not be surprised if residents in these 213 counties are also against raising the minimum wage. Surely a raise would be in their best interest. What are the issues that make these voters vote 
the way that they do, it makes you wonder if they are aware of what they are voting for. Are they voting for their best interests or just voting against the other party? And this goes back to what we say all the time. Democrats are baby killers, demons, secular humanists. There are two parties, Republican and Democrat. I will not vote for a baby killer, so I will vote for a Republican. Is this coming from you or the article? This is me. But well, why didn't this person add that? Like, why are they because voting? Because this person doesn't get it. Why are they voting against their best interests? Okay. You know, an independent free thinker would say, wait a minute, they're voting against their best interests, obviously. Why are they voting for the wrong party that's against them? What logical explanation do they have? And then they should follow through with Dr. Bill's comment about their crazy ideology and their, their cult. I won't call it a religion. Well, eh, yeah, religious cult. All religions are cults. They're cults. 99.9% .9 of other religions are counterfeit. Christian. 99.9. Like, like what you I have no truck with the other ones. They can do what the hell they want. They don't have to be right or wrong. But if you're going to be a, you call yourself a Christian, then you better be biblical. You know, they're, they're so worried about what the hereafter that they're they're literally starving themselves out right here on earth or they're literally killing themselves and their families by voting Republican and they don't even know it because they're so worried about you know the, the yeah, life, and they life got it after, wrong life after death yeah. and they got it wrong they they have no uh, inkling of uh, maybe I better do a little homework and see if I'm correct with my traditional Christian beliefs. I mean, uh, I think maybe I better check in the Bible and see if my beliefs align with what it says in the Bible. They don't say that, do they? No, they accept their pastor's word. Yeah. Or what crap they're getting in Bible study. Like what you were saying about the immortal soul, Wednesday. Yeah. I was saying, where is it in the Bible? Find it. Find any reference to it. That that. But you'll find you'll find uh, uh, hundreds of uh, references to resurrection. Well, an immortal soul won't have to be resurrected, does it? No, if, if you have if you have an immortal soul, and you're flying around, hanging out, why would you need to be resurrected back into a body again, or into spirit? Right. Why would you have to be re-resurrected into a spirit if you're already a spirit that left your body? So it's illogical. No kidding, but that doesn't stop people from believing stuff that ain't in the Bible. There are a lot of a lot of these evangelicals are, uh, I think, all about power and control. You know, and money. They they insist on believing something that they cannot prove, and something. Oh, they'll say you have to have faith. No proof. Type the Bible. Yeah, but you have to have faith that's based on what's in the Bible. Correct. Not if, faith. Not if you call yourself a Christian. Not if faith. If you call yourself a Hindu, then you don't have to worry about the Bible. Not faith based on something that you can't you can't back up. You can't back it up. Just like Republicans have no alternative to anything that the Democrats have to offer. There's no alternative. There's no solution. So they are behind nothing. Hot air. Exactly. They're not, uh, but that's what they are for. They are supposed. The Tea Party goes to Washington to be the party of no. They don't want any progressive programs. They don't want any growth in the United States government at all. Period. And, and they want cuts in the social programs. And 
uh, like that banner that I saved on the Newsletter Censored Facebook page that William J. Eisenman shared about libertarians. Be careful of libertarians. They're just a right winger by another name. Exactly. The columnist Chris Salitza yeah. would have Governor Christie commit suicide by butting heads with Sarah Palin. Both are bullheaded and have a talent for sharp retorts. Yeah, and well, Sarah Palin would be good for uh, porn, older women porn, but, but Christie would not be good for that. But oh. that's one advantage she has. However, Christie is smart enough to know it's not to his advantage to take her on. Mm, no, because he'll lose a lot of votes. He has a big backing throughout the country and wouldn't want to lose it by dumping on her. Well, she is an idiot, but, you know. The Tea Party would be annoying. Yeah, well, you, you want as many votes as you can get, even the stupid asses. And while they might not like his hugging of the president, they'll vote for him at crunch time. Well, they, they, he needed Hurricane Sandy help. <laughs> the writer, however, is not wrong in believing Palin is advocating a third party. The country has gone in a direction of chaotic liberalism, and sober people are fearful of it. Chaotic Have you noticed any liberalism? liberalism lately? I haven't seen Socialism any. Socialism by Obama? I haven't seen any anywhere. I haven't seen any in the in the in the uh, the uh, the mythical uh, 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 U.S. media, American media. There's no liberalism there. Uh, I don't see it in in, in 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 Washington. I don't see it with in any Democrat that's in office today. I don't see uh, this liberalism. Um, How about Obama's socialism? Maybe Bernie Sanders. Who I have to salute. Gotta salute Bernie Sanders of Vermont. We love you. But that's about it. Go ahead. No Obama socialism? I haven't seen anything that far to the left with. Well, with I have seen some. You President know, where, when, when you're given subsidies, grants, to who? And tax breaks to the rich and the big corporations, that's, that's not, socialism. Yeah, but you're giving it to the rich. Socialism is not too crazy about the rich ha get, getting richer. No, no, that's that's a different form. Socialism. This socialism is coming where the government is providing for you. Well, that's that the is corporation. Yeah, uh, that's socialism. When you uh, socialism is like the Robin Hood theory. You're taking no, from no, the no, rich no, and no, giving no. to the poor. Socialism is when the means of production is given to the state, period. Right. It has nothing to do with being poor or being rich. But when you take the the uh, benefits of the state, the money, etc., and you're giving it to the rich, that's socialism. Yeah, but that's not what Karl Marx had in mind. Karl Marx was a communist. Not so, a so socialism, when, when you give when you subsidize the wealthy, That's that can be considered socialism. socialism? Correct. I thought it was... It's a form of socialism. It's a form of socialism. The means of production is owned by the state, by the government. In other words, in a socialist uh, environment, uh, General Motors would be owned by the government. But they're helping the top one or twenty percent. That's a form of socialism. And not helping the masses. That's correct. I thought I thought the masses always benefit in socialism. Only when they take over. Com both communism and socialism have the poor people taking over the government. That's the difference. In other words, we but the we have the rich who have yeah. taken over the government and they provide for their own. The big corporation. Only, yeah. 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 There's the difference. But it's still a form of socialism. See? Okay. Because you're giving away our moolah and etc. to those people who don't deserve it. Okay, but it's still socialism. 
she has shown strength enough outside Washington to gain support from both political sides. But that's in the future. Republican and Democratic leaders have much to fear from her. Ooh, because there's a lot I'm of there's a lot of country bumpkins who love Sarah Palin. I'm Sarah Palin the quitter, please. Well, Sarah Palin the name. quitter, and uh, I'm sure they just love seeing her on her reality show that she used to have, you know, with the rifle in her hands shooting at animals. I'm sure that all all the uh, the rednecks in the in the red states just love that. Last Tuesday, I arrived at a Honus School in Dumont, New Jersey. At 5.15 a.m. And left at 8.30 p.m. Working the primary election. They get $200 for the day, by the way. By dinner time, we had a total of 12 voters. Apart from the enormous waste of taxpayers' money for this unnecessary election, by the way, that was Booker versus Lonigan, you know, the for state senate, I mean, for senator. Cory Booker. And Lonigan. Was Lonigan who a... Both, who won. What political party? Primary. What political party is Lonigan? A Republican! Why, he's a right winger! And, and Booker's a Democrat. Yeah. How, how did Booker but do? But he's a corporatist. He's a corporatist. Thank Democrat. you. But that's not where I want to go. Okay, this particular okay, letter. okay, okay. What bothers me most is Governor Christie's lack of leadership. He wanted this election for his convenience and political ambition. Now I hear from 12 to 25 a million dollars was spent, this is me now, not the letter, on this special election. Oh! Oh! The poltergeist in here. <laughs> I didn't even touch Billy Jr. And, and that money could have been used to reinstate a program that we have here, or had here, in New Jersey called the Homestead Rebate, which yep. was a property tax rebate money given to the elderly and the disabled. And it was taken away by Governor Christie. This $25 million could have reinstated that program for the elderly and the disabled. But instead, it was spent on a wasteful election because Mr. Christie did not want his name and Booker's name to appear on the same ballot in November. Clear and simple. In other words, he knows that Booker, uh, Cory Booker, is just that good that will cause, he might cause it, he will cause Christie to lose votes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because he's too form, formidable to have on the same I guess so. ballot. Well, is Cory Booker going to be on the ballot? He's already the senator-elect. Oh, there'll Cor be oh, Corey him, him and Lonigan. I thought they both won their primaries. Now they will go against each other in November. Yeah, I was going to say that. November is the election. Yeah. Or, uh, so, in other words, when I walk into the booth in November, I'm, as an independent. I'm going to see, as an independent, which I am registered, which I cannot vote in the primaries as an Correct. independent. You've got to be two-party system. I'm going to see all the Democrats lined up, all the Republicans lined up over here, or vice versa. And then I'm going to see wh whoever independents whatever independents are running like that guy that's been having advertisements here. Oh, oh you really heard from an advertisement for an independent? No, what does that man... Uh, uh, see? Who is that man I see on TV all the time? 
lately. He's not. He's not. He's not Barbara Bono, obviously. And he's he's not Cory Booker, and he's not Christie, and he's 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 running for governor. But I think he's running as uh, an independent in New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea. Roth, something, something. No, I have no idea. Yeah, I gotta write his name Roth. down. But he makes a lot of sense. But he's um. What does he say? Well, he, he goes into economic detail on on what he would do if he was governor. You know, he's uh. Well, what do we need to do? There's a lot of things we need to do. Well, no, the number one thing I would do is I would shift the tax burden to the rich. <gasps> Oh my God! Number two, Goodness. and number two, I, I would bring back all the social programs to help the little guy, and the po folk. Oh, you communist, you! That's what I would do, and I make the rich pay for it. You're the communist, man. Make They're the, the job creators. You can't do that. They they create jobs in their minds, in their dreams. In they Bangladesh. Create, they create jobs in Bang They're not lying. Bangladesh and yeah. China. Yeah, no, they're, they're not, not lying. They they're just don't lying create them in the United States. Exactly. Exactly. You got it, buddy. You know, and and when they talk about when they when they talk about jobs that are in the United States, you know damn well that in this day and age, even a married couple cannot make ends meet on two jobs with two minimum wage hamburger flipping jobs. You know, regular ones, ten dollars an hour, twelve dollars an hour. Yeah, and ma Can't like 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 McDonald's as a as a company as a whole makes so much money. They are actually nine the ninetieth largest economic nation. They are equal to the being the ninetieth economic nation in the world. This is a company. In the old days, companies were not allowed to grow that large, to get that much money, because what happens is now they go and they take the money and they invest it in other things rather than their business. Yeah. They become, like a railroad becomes uh, 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 an insurance company. Yeah, like, uh, stuff like is that. this kind of like the douchebag-faced Bill Gates uh, uh, getting involved with uh, Vaccines. Oh and well, that's 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 so he can have a legacy. International. That's his, uh, what a nice guy. Pushing is. vaccines on on poor children uh, uh, worldwide. It's like all the rich J.P. Morgan leaves when they leave behind their, they the Rockefeller Center, uh, uh, the uh, Frick Art Museum. That's what that shit is. Okay. Is it, yeah, he's he's a, he's a the legacy. I'm such a good guy. See, I was a nice guy. What? I didn't pay my workers right now. Well, what the hell? But look, look, I'm a nice guy. I gave you an art museum and a and a, and a library. Well, he he's like Come on, uh, man. he's uh he's he's kind of like a like a like a middleman. You know, he kind of like stole a lot, a, a great deal without giving credit to the people that actually invented anything. You know, that that new movie is out, Job. Steve Jobs. About that stuff. I wonder if they have any of that crap in there. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder. <clears throat> yeah, Steve Jobs was no angel when it came to outsourcing and uh, cheap labor. He was, I'm sure he was very much involved with Foxconn in China. But anyway, uh, when you're done with this, let's just call it a day. Well, go ahead, because I, I don't want to, yeah, I'm done with it. Oh, okay. So I don't want to start another uh, one here. Yeah, all right, thank you <coughs> for joining us, people, for this week's progressive discussions. How enlightening. Yes, how enlightening. Uh, the next progressive discussions will actually be the Labor Day weekend progressive discussions. Providing the creek don't rise. Oh, uh, we're supposed to get a lot of rain? No. No, I hope not. We don't it's need it. It's supposed to be dry, clear and dry, and somewhat cooler. But anyway, thank you. <coughs> That'll be nice. Oh, I, I, I can't argue with uh, with 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 dry uh, um, weather that is just perfect temperature. Can't beat that. Love it. I can't. See my electric bill here too. I can't. Oh, you and your electric bill. My God. I, it's just I can't stand humidity. 
This guy is. Well, I can't stand one hundred and five dollars. Oh, Bill. for God's sakes! Come on, come yeah. on, come on! I got better things to do with my. Yeah, head. come on! All right, say say so long to these people. So long, people. Come on. Save my move. No, for God's sakes! What do you like? Uh, yes. You pinch a penny so hard, both heads and tails are on the same side. No, but I don't like giving it to P S E and G. Oh, they're crooks. Well. They're crooks. And I'm doing the same thing of supporting the rich.